Uh, my name is Todd Hitchcock. I'm a cardiologist with Scripps Clinic Medical Group. Blood pressure is one of the vital signs that's obtained at a doctor's office or emergency room or in the hospital. It's basically the force that the arteries are experiencing as the heart is going through its cycle. When the heart pumps, that's the top number that we call the systolic. And then when the heart relaxes is the bottom number, the diastolic. It actually is an injury to the blood vessel wall. Having untreated hypertension or high blood pressure causes uh, damage to our blood vessels over time that can increase our risk of a stroke and it also affects um, your kidneys because they're particularly sensitive to blood pressure changes. Um, the guidelines have been updated to where high blood pressure is considered readings consistently above 130 over 80. So now about half of American adults have high blood pressure. So blood pressure is often referred to as a silent killer because it often does not cause symptoms. When it's really high, it can cause a headache, sometimes some chest pain or breathing problems, but oftentimes at lower levels that are considered high blood pressure, most people will not feel any symptoms. Well, high blood pressure typically develops when we're in our 40s, unless there's other contributing factors, and especially people who have certain personality types, like certain type A personality individuals, or in, they have high stress occupations, they may be going through serious life events, they could be drinking too much alcohol, Those, these are all contributors to high blood pressure. Guidelines would suggest that men should not be drinking more than, on average, two alcohol drinks a night and women no more than one. Patients often have the misconception that once they are on medication, they can eat what they want, do what they want, drink what they want, but actually um, the choices we make as far as our lifestyle and habits are almost as important, if not more important, than the medications we can prescribe. High blood pressure often is a chronic problem, so discontinuation of medication is not advised because oftentimes you'll return to those baseline elevated readings. Um, that's actually not true and the data has suggested that women are just as high risk as men for developing heart disease. There are a lot of myths on the internet and social media and I would just encourage most people to take that with a grain of salt but also always consult with your uh, provider.